Tim didn't have any sacks on the stat sheet. I know the stats don't completely tell the story. When you went back and watched the game, did you feel better uh, about what you all, you all were able to do uh, on the defensive line and generating some pressure? Yeah, I, I thought for the most part, um, you know, we showed some flashes, you know, in terms of what we want to be and, and what we're capable of being. Um, I thought those guys did a good job, obviously, getting rid of the ball quickly. Um, but when he held it, you know, I thought we um, applied some pressure. You know, was it perfect? You know, absolutely not. You know, but I thought for the most part, you know, those guys did a good job, you know, of executing what we asked them to execute. So uh, to answer your question, yeah, I, I felt fine, you know, coming out of the game in terms of what was out there and the opportunities we had. Considering they did have a counter to keep you guys from not getting a sack, is there, did you feel like there were some tweaks in terms of the scheme that can be adjusted this week? I mean, the reality, you know, we, we obviously want to sack them. You know, we want to get as many takeaways as we can, you know, but I think the most important thing is to win, you know. So at the end of the day, you know, we felt like, you know, we had enough mechanisms in our toolbox um, to be able to get the win, you know, and obviously that's what we did. Uh, Coach, a couple of things. One, what do you see out of uh, Pitt's offense? I know they have got a lot of offensive linemen returning and like to run the football, but what, do you, what have you seen out of them so far? Yeah, I think what you just described. You know, they're, they're experienced get group up front. You know, they're big. You know, uh, a lot of guys played a lot of football. You know, they do a good job of, you know, putting forehands on guys and, and moving guys off the spot. Um, you know, 77, you know, the left tackle is extremely athletic. You know, has done a really good job in the past of, you know, protecting the quarterback. So. Uh, we have a lot of respect for those guys up front and, and their program as a, as a whole. So, you know, we know we'll have our hands full. And what were your thoughts of Tamari McDonald's performance? Yeah, I, I, thought, um, I thought he did a good job. You know, I thought for the most part he was very consistent, you know, what we asked him to do. Um, you know, for man coverage, you know, I think he graded out somewhere like 80%. Um, I thought, you know, in zone principles, his eyes were in the right places. You know, obviously getting an interception early. You know, I, I thought he did a really good job considering that was his only second start of his whole career. So uh, we were pleased so far with, you know, what he's brought to the table. Austin and Vince. Coach, we had a chance to listen to Coach Heibel yesterday about Kamal Haddon and just the work that he put in um, when he was not able to go uh, during fall camp. How do you assess kind of how much he's grown maybe just over the last couple of months? And then what were your interpretations of how he played in limited role Saturday? Yeah, I think Kamal is, is, is really coming along. You know, he's a kid that, you know, hadn't played a ton of football. You know, obviously at the junior college, you know, he was banged up a little bit last year. Um, but, you know, we like the direction that he's headed. You know, I think he's maturing. Um, I think, again, you know, understanding, you know, the, the whole um, complexity of our defense and, you know, where he needs to be. He's always been a tremendous athlete. You know, now it's just, you know, understanding the finer details. And he's worked really, really hard for that um, during the off season. You know, and you guys start to see a little bit of a glimpse of that, obviously, you know, Thursday night. Couple of things. You, you guys have talked about depth and, and feeling like you're in a better position there. Until the, the score got out of hand and you really started going to the bench, did you feel like you were able to play more bodies and get them into that regular rotation for you? Yeah, I, I think so. You know, we um, we tried to rotate guys early. You know, not just at the end of the game as you mentioned. And I know particularly on the back end where that has not necessarily been been a thing that we did in the past. Um, but you know, you saw Wesley Walker out there a ton and. Um, you know, we obviously played a ton of corners and, you know, um, you know, we tried to get guys up front, you know, in terms of the rotation as well early, even a linebacker position where we're a little bit limited, you know, obviously going into the game. But, um, yeah, we, we felt good. We felt like we got the guys in the game early enough that, you know, they felt like there were some real meaningful minutes that they were contributing to. And what about specifically Burrell and Charles? What would you see from those guys? Yeah, I, you know, I, I think Charles, you can see that was, you know, really his first time out on an island. Um, you know, I think it was, you know, once the game started to settle down or he started to settle down within the game, I thought he started to play better. Um, you know, he's a tremendous athlete, as we've already, you know, documented. Um, but obviously playing corners new for him. Um, he's getting better. You know, I thought by the end of the game, you know, I thought he was really comfortable <laughs> in what we were asking him to do. Um, you know, it was a little bit uneventful, you know, for Burrell, you know, um, he did exactly what he needed to do. I think they only challenged him a few times and um, he was up for the challenge, most of those reps. So uh, we feel like Burrell obviously had a really good camp. You know, we thought he did his job Thursday night and, 
he'll obviously have, you know, even bigger shoes to fill, you know, or to, um, to, to, to play at, you know, obviously going into this next venue. So I know he's excited about the challenge, and, and so are we. Coach, you got a couple of young guys in the game really early, Elijah and um, Joshua Josephs. What would you see on tape from, from those guys? Yeah, uh, freshmen. You know, they look like freshmen, you know, but they're, they're uber talented, you know, very athletic. Um, you know, Josh Joseph, you know, is, um, you know, a kid that's long, athletic, you know, probably plays a little bit bigger than what his actual size is. Um, I thought he did some good things, you know, but again, you know, when they're freshmen, you know, there are going to be some things that, um, you know, we obviously have to correct and only experience can, you know, teach them, so to speak. And um, I thought being able to get those guys some first game reps, you know, only bode well for us moving forward. Timmy, you look at the linebackers. Aaron Beasley was looked like he was flying all over the place, especially in the first half. How has he grown as a player from last year to now? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously we didn't know a lot about Beasley last year and, you know, ended up starting a bunch of games for us and, you know, had a tremendous spring. Um, he, he was good. You know, he's, he's always very consistent. You know, we know exactly what we're going to get out of him. Um, he doesn't say a whole bunch, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, I know guys on our defense really respect him. They respect his work ethic and how consistent he is day in and day out. So um, I thought he did a good job of flying around, hitting the ball, you know, being active in coverage. Um, obviously, he affected, the play, he affected the quarterback on the very first play that led to an interception. So, uh, you know, he's a guy that we know we can count on, and, um, you know, we're obviously happy we got him. Sticking with Josephs and Herring, just what are those guys, two guys do in fall camp to give you guys the confidence to play them as early as you did? Yeah, I think with Herring, you know, he, he made tremendous strides, you know, coming out of spring. You know, he's a big kid. You know, he's strong. You know, he, he's physical. You know, he's still, you know, learning the nuances of playing inside linebacker. But um, he worked hard enough and showed enough consistency in practice where, you know, we felt like we needed to carve out a niche for him or a role for him. And, um, you know, we don't see that changing as we continue to move forward. You know, and, and Joseph, you know, again, you know, he's a kid who plays a little bit bigger than what his actual size is. He's uber long. Um, he has some explosive qualities. Um, you know, again, the consistency, you know, the stage hadn't seemed too big for those guys during practice. And, you know, obviously, as we continue to go out throughout the season, you know, we think being able to play those guys early and getting them more reps will only help us, you know, down the stretch, coming down the stretch of the season. Coach, you'd said that you, you tackled more in the preseason than you normally do. When you went back and watched the tape, did, did you get the benefit you wanted? How did you like your units tackling in, in game one? And how were you physical? How, how was your physicality at all three levels? Yeah, I think the physicality was good. You know, I don't I have a problem with how physical we tried to play. Um, you know, I, you know, we're never as happy as we want to be after a game. You know, we, did we tackle, you know, um, at 100 percent? No. So we're disappointed that way. Um, did we tackle well enough to win? You know, I think so. Um, we didn't look out there and say, God, we're a bad tackling team coming out of the first game, you know, but to think that we've arrived, I wouldn't say that either. You know, I, I think it's obviously the more you play, the more you tackle, the better we'll get. And I don't think we're any different. You know, we'll continue to get better tackling, but I was not disappointed coming out of the game in terms of our tackling. Coach, a couple questions. First of all, third down defense, I know that was a, a big emphasis all offseason. How, how did you kind of evaluate how that went in the first game? And secondly, looking ahead to Pitt, you played this team last year, but they have a new offensive coordinator, new quarterback. How does that challenge or what challenges does that bring in terms of preparing for them? Yeah, I mean, the number said, you know, we, we graded out on third down. I mean, again, there's some things we want to do better, obviously, you know, in terms of how we affect the quarterback, you know, whether it's pressure or whether it's rotation in the coverage uh, packages. Um, but I thought overall, you know, I thought we did well enough to win. Um, as far as Pitt, you know, yeah, they do have a new offensive coordinator, and that's always a little bit tricky because, you know, you're, you're studying another opponent to get ready for them. You obviously watch the one-game sample. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, as we talk about all the time, you always expect the unexpected, and, you know, we have to lean on our training. I, I think, you know, Coach Narduzzi has been there long enough where those guys have a culture. You know, I think they have some core values that they believe in, um, and I don't think this offensive coordinator will deviate away from that. You know, these guys want to be able to run the football, you know, protect the quarterback and, and throw the ball down the field. So, um, you know, we're, we're excited about the opportunity. You know, again, we have a tremendous amount of respect for their program. And, um, you know, we're excited to get down there and, and get to it. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys.